Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new hard drive enclosure that I have received from Orico Group. It is called the Orico 2.5 inch SATA USB 3 hard drive enclosure. And the model number on this is 2538U3. It's a really small, very portable that I'm going to show you today. All right, without wasting any time, you can see that the unit itself, the way that the put the box together it's very nice you can see around it. it has a lot of markings in the front also in the back that how this thing looks but once we slide the sleeve and try to open the box itself you can see that the enclosure is inside of a little plastic we're taking that out and it has a little section inside that when you take it out it is the usb3 and also the uh, parts that are included is there's a few little rubbers and uh, two of them that are gray color is going to be for your heart hard drive itself when you put it inside so that way it doesn't wobble and also it comes with two different ribbons and the one that is part of it is right on top of the enclosure itself I'll show you but the other two colors and just in case if you want to change or if you have more than one of these so that way you know exactly which hard drive you're grabbing so the color changes will help you out so you don't have to put any stickers on it and that's it so we will put this aside it also comes with a little user manual and the user manual is in two languages the first one is in Chinese language and yeah, they have two languages so I'm not sure if it's in Cantonese or Mandarin I could not read but the second part of it is in English and that will walk you through on how you can hook this up inside of it and also when you connect it to your Windows or it doesn't matter if it's Mac or Linux how you can fix your hard drive so it's readable and also if you're hooking this up to your laptop portable you want to take it somewhere else how you can manage to see your files if it does not show and also how you can format it so we will walk you through some basic steps on how it's done when you look on the enclosure itself it looks very sleek it has everything there but I have to let you know that this is created by plastic and when you look on the front part of it you can see the Oracle leading technology logo right on the top and then when you look on one side of it you have the USB connection so this way that's how you're going to connect this to your PC and there's a wire is already included as I showed before and also have some little holes for ventilation but when you look on the top part of it there's no ventilation and on the sides there's nothing there and also in the bottom there's nothing just a little rubber around it so that way you can hold it together but once we take that out and we try to open it so you gotta remember that it opens from the bottom side not from the top that where the USB connection is and once that opens you can see the inside of it it is just very very simple it just have the connection on the top for SATA and also that's it there's no also and once you grab your hard drive so in this case old laptop hard drive so we took that out and we're going to show you how you can hook it up to this so first make sure that you put the little rubbers around the hard drive itself on both sides and this way when you put it inside of this enclosure it does not wobble and it does not unhook itself from the connection so you're not going to have a bad hard drive plus it's going to be readable and not movable once you put it inside so once that's done hook it up we gotta put it from the top push it down so that way it connects properly and then put the top on and once you do that then put the rubber on so that way it does not move and that's how easy it is to hook it up that's it so now connect the USB to it and then let's hook it up to your PC so let's just again test it to see how good this is so once you hook it up you will get a pop-up like this so you can say to scan it and you can say start so this way it will scan the hard drive and if there's anything wrong it will tell you except that you will get this little pop-up so I have Windows 7 for the meantime and this is my main PC that I'm using so in order to do a few tests so first let's see if we can find the hard drive itself on our computer so once we go here it should say local and this is the one so it's letter K if we open and if we go to right click on it and go to properties which I don't think you saw uh, you can see right now that it says it's 150 gigabyte available and we're not using anything so this is how you see it there you go so there's nothing in it as soon as you go to letter K all right so let's try to see if your hard drive does not show where to go to fix it you have to go into computer right click on your computer go to manage and inside of manage you need to go to disk manager again I have one hard drive so I partitioned it a bunch of times because I'm going to use this so if we go down you will see the letter K right there so if it says that it is healthy but it's not partitioned you can right click on it this is where you come to format your drive or make it 
visible for your computer so this way when you unhook it and hook it up to another computer it will show up but that's how easy it is and now when you go to your hard drive now you're going to use it for your files and everything so you can drag and drop to it and you can use it for your daily uses again this is a very good and they have thought of a lot of things so this way it does not go into wobble the hard drive itself inside of it and there's not enough space so it can move out but again it is really good to put those little parts in so it will make your hard drive look beautiful plus it's going to fit and it's not going to move so they have taught off everything bumper to bumper in order to make this 2.5 SATA connection working properly it is USB 3 so the connection for this is going to be very fast in order to transfer files USB 2 have its own speed but USB 3 will take you to another level all right, so this is really good enclosure. I really recommend anybody wants to buy one to give it a try. It's very inexpensive. Links will be available where you can order it from in the bottom of this video. Plus, more information about this from the official website also going to be available in the bottom of this video. For the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button. It really helps us out. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.